I hit pretty, like, rock pretty good. Kimberly broke my nose again, guys! Push back and he's just, like, bleeding on the ground. Look at this guy! I threw your hat at you, man! He came after me, so f*** you! Oh, you want to go get him? Go get him! Oh, you both got hit? Where? Where? It's okay. And I see, like... With these kind of calls, the patients are oftentimes very emotional. You can stay right here. We can stay right here. I don't even know. Okay. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Anything broken? <laughs> I doubt it. Can you stand up? You got hit a few times? Yeah. In the head? Yeah. Does it hurt anywhere I'm touching? I'm trying to hold oh. still. These women are both really shaken up. They've been in a very emotionally charged situation. They've been assaulted. We need to be able to calm them down so that we can help them. We're sitting here and thinking like whatever would have rain and them started acting up and I'm like, why? We started beating her when she went came to ask the neighbors for some help. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this stuff like this and like that, man. For real. I don't deserve it. Looks like no one's going to want to come. They are banged up a little bit, but nothing too serious. You're going to file a report with the police, right? And hopefully they'll catch them and... I hope so. She shouldn't be treated like that, man. I couldn't even help her. I didn't even know how to help her. The perpetrator of this crime needs to know that his acts are not going to go unpunished. If there are no consequences, then acts like this are just going to keep happening. How are you doing? Do you cool. guys have him? The police have him, yeah. I, th I think they caught him. <laughs> I hope I hope everything works out for you. It's kind of a tough way to spend the night. Our role with this kind of call is to let our patient know that we're here for them. If you change your mind about coming to the hospital, just let us know. We're going to be here for a bit yet. We need to support them, and we need to make sure that they know that they have the resources and the help that they will need. Can you kind of give me the backstory before you go? The unfortunate part with it is a lot of times that the victims never get away from it. They're often drawn right back into the same scenario. Hopefully the two women involved in this incident can get the help they need, and this doesn't happen again. We're going for some kind of domestic dispute. There's a truck on scene treating a patient who's been stabbed. We're going for a second patient who's overdosed. So this girl, I don't even know how old she is. She's, she's wasted drunk. Yeah. She's uh, got a history of s Just smells like liquor in here. And these are filled on the 11, okay. uh, 60 tabs, and there's only 18 left for Panwell. We're told this patient took propranolol, roughly 40 tabs. This could have serious cardiac effects. This was a domestic oh, okay. assault sort of thing. So it sounds like there is some kind of altercation that took place. She stabbed a relative, and that person is not being treated by another unit. Come on, keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. You're okay. I need answers to how many pills she took and when she took them. Okay. You can be honest, it's okay. How much pills did you take? She's obviously upset, she's intoxicated, and we're not getting any answers. Yes, we need to. No! I feel I have to be assertive with her because she potentially ingested a lethal dose of these pills. I'm trying to ask you some simple questions, and if yeah. you could give me some simple answers. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hello, Poison Center. Hi, Poison Center. My name is Dane. I'm a paramedic in Saskatoon, and I just wanted to run uh, a case by you here tonight. I'm just putting these on your chest to check your heart out. Remember when I told you that? In every overdose, we try to do a 12 lead ECG so we can monitor the patient's heart. I don't Look at this. Okay, great. All right, thanks a lot. Okay, bye bye. You have pills in your bra. Yeah, I know. Oh, I there's a ton. Know. I discover she has a lot of pills stuffed in her bra. No, I need a serious I answer. I don't know. So, what did you take a handful? Did you take any? So, it's a relief, but it's also frustrating because she's not being completely honest with us. The pills that you said you took are, can be very dangerous to your heart. We're going to transport her to the hospital where she can be medically cleared, and once she's sober, hopefully she can speak with someone who can help her. 30-year-old male, 
Uh, conscious breathing, laceration, bleeding is traumatic. Traumatic injuries equal possibility of death. So we pull up on scene. The patient has a bandage already. That's been done by the police who carry first aid kits. Hi, I'm a paramedic. The patient's very worked up. We need to calm him down so we can get a full story and find out what's going on so that we can treat him accordingly. Can I check you out? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna check you out, okay? Our next step is finding out what the mechanism of injury is. Listen, with his head went through the window, he put his head into the window, so he's got a gas. Can he, can, he get, can he get that guy out of there? I need you to listen to this. Yep. Okay, where are you hurt? You guys, we were just checking to see what the damage was here. How in the world? Apparently he slammed his head into the window somehow. Inside of the Don't know exactly how, but... Let's get your like so he told the police know, okay. the injury was up. obtained by him putting his head into the window. Okay, come over here to my truck. I'm gonna clean you up. Let's have a look at your eye. I'm thinking, when you look at the injury and the way he looks and presents... I want you to sit right here. You hear the information that's told to you as to why he received the injury he did. They don't match. They don't look like that kind of injury would have occurred from hitting the window. Yeah, he's gonna need a lot of stitches there. He's gonna put a bandage on here. If you don't know, go in the hospital. Here, put your head up. Put your... There's information that's given to you, and there's information that you have to obtain. And you have to do a little bit of investigational work to find out how it happened. And it's not always just point blank. Okay. I'm gonna take a blood pressure here. Inside of the house or the outside? He said he put his head in the window. It looks like... He had a big fast pound and tried to get into the house. Smash the window. Did he get in the house or out of the house? To try and get out. Pressure here. Okay, we got you, man. Okay. When we go to the hospital, the doctors and nurses want to know what happened. How did this guy receive this injury? So we don't know if he put his head through it or if he... It sounds like he was in a fight in the yard. You're telling me he got this injury or received this injury somehow, but it doesn't make sense. Tell me to fight the hit her, man. It's okay, it's okay. Can I put this on your finger? So then you have to ask the police, you have to ask other people around, you have to be an investigator. He received 14 stitches. He was then sent for a CT scan to make sure there was no internal bleeding in his head. And after that, he was released into police custody. We arrive on scene and the assailant is gone. What happened? Can you tell us from the start? Well, she went ballistic on me. Okay. She has a scratch. Is this an old stab wound here? Yeah, she stabbed me before. I can see a scar on the patient's back right next to her spine from a previous attack. So let's just recap from the start. You were sleeping and your daughter attacked you? Yeah. Okay, and she attacked you with a knife? Did you get punched or anything in the face? Yeah, uh-huh. Were you knocked unconscious by the punches? Well, I, I tried to fight back. Okay. The injury to the patient's back doesn't appear serious, but she has been assaulted and punched in the head numerous times. Okay, so what do you want to do? I want to arrest okay. That's a police thing. Do you want to come to the hospital with us? No, no, I don't okay. want to have a Actually, I want to do that. So the call came in a 911 priority one coding, which means there is a violent crime in progress. The complainant is the mother of an adult female who uh, assaulted her mom by stabbing her in the back with a knife. That was the information that we had. We'll fan out from here and look for our suspect. She wasn't at scene when we arrived. It sounds like this mother-daughter relationship, there's been a few issues that have been going on here. And she's been stabbed in the past, assaulted tonight. It sounds like they have a few things to work out. My mom would lay the boots to me if I ever tried to step out of line like that. Get the wooden spoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are heading to a residence. Uh, sounds like uh, involved in some sort of domestic dispute and uh, city police are on scene requesting us lights and sirens. Why don't we grab a seat here? And can you take off your hat for me? Yeah. I just want to get a good look at you. Tell me what happened. I'm just going to check you out, okay? Um, I'm not too sure, actually. I either got clubbed or kneed to the Clubbed or kneed? Okay. Yeah. Did you lose consciousness at any point? No, no, I didn't. No? I just... No bumps on your head or neck? No, no, okay. just a nice little gash. How many times was he hit? Was he knocked unconscious? Uh, no, not at all. Have you guys been drinking? He has. I just came home from my soccer game. And how do you know him? That's my brother. Oh, do you know who got you? Uh, yeah, just a brotherly uh, argument. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll get you out to our truck here and get you dressed up, okay? Get okay. you clean. Now, you got shoes? Yeah, yeah. I just got my shoes already inside side here. These brothers definitely had a disagreement. Sounds like they had already solved their issues by the time we got there. We just needed to kind of tidy up after. Let's see. Let's have a look. Ah, dude. Oh. 
So do you know what he hit you with? He was like rushing me. I had like a, a golf club. I'm gonna clean you up here while you're talking, okay? And then he was like push back, and he's just like bleeding on the ground. I hit pretty like rock pretty good. And he's just like freaking out like really bad. It turns out that one of the brothers actually filmed the whole entire fight on his cell phone. I was like freaking out on him too really bad because I was in the moment. I was like just getting tossed around. Yeah. And I told you, 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 I I was like, look how much I'm bleeding in. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Okay. Pretty silly, eh? I put on well. my jeans backwards. <laughs> so you got dressed in a rush when you found out people were coming. Yeah. It's an honest, yeah. honest mistake. Okay? All family has issues. I have brothers. We all fight a little bit. Sometimes you hug it out, sometimes you duke it out. At the end of the day, you're still family. <laughs>